Hello my friends, I hope you're all keeping well. Um, we're going to do Everybody's Talking At Me, the theme from Midnight Cowboy, um, sung by the brilliant Harry Nilsson. You'll all know the tune, everyone's covered it. Um, not many people know how to play it, not properly anyway, so hopefully this will get you going if you want to try this one. Um, for all you people who are new to the channel, this is my idiot proof way of learning that stuff. Dead easy to follow this. Capo at the fourth fret, these are where your fingers are going to go. And here are your string numbers, all right? Anything in a bracket, you'll play together. Anything, you know, separately, you'll play, well, separately, of course. Before we go any further, that noise is my chair and not flatulence, should you hear it during the course of this particular tutorial, okay? Um, I've got the mic next to me here because people complain that it's quiet, so I'm trying to use an external mic, so hopefully it'll work. Let's give the song a bash. Okay, so you've got your paperwork, all right, you're all ready to go. You've heard the song, you'll go, oh yeah, shit, I remember that one, it's great, I wish you could play it. Well, stick with me for a little bit, you will. Now, the first thing you've got to learn how to do is not start twanging away right now. You've got to get the rhythm of the pick in your head, all right? It's really important because it goes all the way through the song. And the rhythm of the pick is this. And try and treat it like a little chant in your head. Always remember, you've got to play it in your head before you can play it with your fingers very important so this is what we want to do that's the pattern you can do that can't you that's the rhythm of the whole song and so on and once you've got that pattern in your head and you then pin the notes onto the pattern and then hey presto everyone says oh, have you heard him it's great isn't it and you'll say yeah of course it is i've been watching that fenner guy the little dwarf fellow with the funny ass i don't know there we are right okay let's um joking apart let's crack on okay so the first shape you're going to play now i'm referring to the shapes here not the chords because of clearly this shape C played at that fret is an E, but I can't be asked going through all the rigmarole of transposing it. We're going to call it C, all right? Because it's a C shape. What are we going to play? Don't forget your three fingers. These three fingers look after these three strings. They're very important that they always do that, particularly in a song like this. And your thumb is going to look after your four, your five, and your six, all right? First strings we're going to play are together. How do we know that? Because they're in a bracket, and the strings are five and two. Okay? Then we're going to play a four, then a one, then a two, and then a three. Now, did you notice the way I put my little finger on that third string at the fourth fret? That's that one there. Can you see it? Now, on the diagram, clearly, it shows you that it's on there from the beginning. You could put it on from the beginning if you want, but it's more work. I've just told you now, you can put that on, on the last note. And remember that pattern that we did. Birds. When you've done that, take this third finger, we've done that shape now, and bring it up to the bass string at the third fret and take off your first finger. Leave the little finger and these on. Very important. Now we're going to play six and two. Four, one, two, three. And at that point, on the last beat again, We'll bring that little finger off. Okay, so it went on. You can hear it going on and off. And so on. Now that's page one done. Those two shapes form the whole of the intro 
and the whole of the first verse as I shall demonstrate. <laughs> So we've got the first verse, first bit of the first verse done. Then we move on to page two on our, on our idiot proof uh, paperwork. We're going to play a C seventh, which is the same shape as we did before, but this time the little finger, instead of being at the fourth fret, which is, was a major seventh, I think, um, it's here on the third string at, on the um, third fret. Okay, we look down the bottom, it says five and three, four, one, two. Now, this is the tricky bit. This is what we're going to do. Let me play it first. We've got to go da 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 da. Now you'll notice that last note is connected to this shape here. Bom 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 bom. I've put it there because it's it's sort of it's more involved with the second shape than it's the first. Just watch what I'm going to do, and you'll get this. It involves us playing two strings with one finger, all right? And don't be scared, you'll get this. So what we're gonna do is, um, there's our C seventh. What I'm doing is I'm playing the fourth string and I'm bringing that finger down to play the three and the four. We don't wanna be doing stuff like this, which a lot of other players do. It sounds shite because all the other notes stop. So we've just got to persevere and learn how to do that. Okay, so you're on the fourth string and you're going to try and just let your finger just roll onto that third string. It's only there momentarily. And once you've got the hang of it, you'll have it forever, you know, and you'll realize it's a really useful thing to be able to do. Like a little bar, but with the, that, that part of your finger. Let me play it for you. So from the C seventh, um, where are we? Okay, so, Five and three, four, one, two, three. See the way I brought it down for that three? And then at that point, I will bring this finger up to here and I will play six and three, four, one, two, three. And then I'll have a little sigh of relief as I bring that finger on that was holding two strings down, ready to do the whole thing again, all right? So I'll do it again. Where are we, C seventh. Reset. the hardest part in the whole song all right That's page two done page three nice easy bit to d minor seventh to a g seventh the d minor seventh we'll play like this okay it's all on the diagram remember just click that blue link below and download all the paperwork it's all there free let's have a look at what we're going to do four and two three one two three now on that last three da, 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 I take all my fingers off because it's an open string and I want to get to the other shape quickly enough without fluffing any notes, so watch. And then I'm gonna to go to my G seventh. I only need to put one finger here and one finger there. Diagram will tell you all that. Six and two, three, one, two, three. Play those two bits again. Okay, because you'll see everything's in pairs. We go ba ba da 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 Same rhythm all the way through, let me play that. fluff note that I just hit. Oops, it is live. I don't do any editing. Can't be bothered and music's not about all that anyway. You ready? So here we go. The last um, page four in order to get the whole of the verses done. Uh, it's like a C again. Everything's to do with C. But instead of that finger being on, it isn't. We're going to put that first finger on the third string on, on the second fret, okay? And we're going to play five and three. Four, two, Make sure you bring it off on that third string when we play the third string again. Five and three with this finger on. Four, two, three, four. Okay, da, 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 da. And then we bring this nice easy bit now. This finger will come up to here and you play six and three. Four, two, three, four. And we repeat that. Those chords 
sorts of things are in it. It's like an A minor with an added ninth in the C on the bass, and this one is like a G with a, an E minor with a G. It's all lit at the top. It makes no difference to what it's going to sound like. If you get the fingers on the wrong strings, it's going to sound shit whether you know the names of the chords or not. All right, so that's the whole of the, um, the verse. Now, if I get enough views, we'll do the next bit okay now you could probably plow your way the next bit by the way is just two pages i'll play it for you now but i'm not going to go into detail on it because you'll get bored and bugger off so but i'll play it for you that's all that is i'm going with the sun If you want to follow that through on here, just do exactly the same. Dum da dum da dum dum da dum, and just look at the shapes. They're easy, and there's, there's nothing there we haven't already done. But I'm going to cut it there because I want to keep the vid reasonably short. Okay, so you'll come back and um, we'll do more stuff. If you like it, if you can't, if you get stuck on any of it, you're welcome to message me. But as I say, if you get enough views, I'll spend a bit more time on that second part. I don't think you'll need it. If you got past those awkward couple of shapes, that's page two. You'll crack this. Remember, the paperwork is directly underneath the video in the description box. Just click on the blue link and just download it. What are we going to do next? I don't know. I'm working on this bloody show. We've had some cancellations in theatres. It's a real pain in the arse. Um, so I'm sorry I've not been with you for, for the last couple of weeks. But uh, I'm with you now. So have a go with this. Let me know how you get on. And uh, we'll pick it up from there. All right. In the meantime, have a nice evening. I'm going to have some tea. I shall see you next time. Um, forgive my squeaky chair. Bye now.